morning everybody it's Thursday if you were wondering when I am filming this it may not be Thursday when you're watching this but welcome anyways let's all pretend it's Thursday together because for me it's Thursday how's everybody doing today if you're new welcome here everything you need to know about me is down below in the description of this video we're on our way to work to do some trucking Today I have to go and deliver that load into Winnipeg that I picked up in Ontario yesterday. I've got a nine o'clock appointment in St. Boniface. I've got plenty of time, plenty of time. I should be there at 7 a.m. Getting the truck ready, getting it started. And then it's only like a 20 minute drive. So we'll have plenty of time. We'll be a little early, which is better than a little late. So I've been trying to reduce the amount of sugar I'm taking into my body. A little bit, okay? I'm a little bit of a sugar fiend. I love sugar. So I, I don't want to have diabetes when I'm older. So I understand the risks of eating a lot of sugar. But I'm not going to cut it out completely, okay? My body's still working, so... <laughs> I used to eat Eggos with maple syrup every morning tons of sugar probably had like 200 grams of sugar every morning at least and when I realized this I was like maybe I should do something different. so I've been having oatmeal which is about 20 grams of sugar every morning so 10% taking it down a little bit saving some of my sugar quota for the evenings you know so I can have some cake we're back in 3006 everything seems to be working all right Air pressure gauges are working. I've already tested the air pressure and the air compressor. Blow off valve, everything seems to be working all right. All other gauges are looking good. So, uh, hopefully it lasts. It's gonna be a little bit of a cold day. The wind chill is what's gonna get us today. It's really windy. And that wind is coming from the north and it's bringing that polar vortex air right down over Manitoba, so. It's only like minus 15 outside, it's not too bad, but that wind temperature is probably bringing it down closer to like minus 25. But, ah, at least we got our truck back. So we got a van trailer. This is the trailer we had in Ontario yesterday. It's actually got a load of mattresses in here. Used mattresses that are, I believe, going to get steam cleaned and then being donated. That's that's the story I was told so it's actually kind of a nice story this is I think 85 mattresses in here that are being donated to people who need them homeless people and uh, people in low-income situations I got a big billboard behind me this huge gap between the truck and the trailer you notice it on the windy days <laughs> but it looks good right it looks better <laughs> we'll just go with that place has been under construction for so long it's got this crosswalk here you got to watch out because all the employees park on that side of the road on the left and they got to walk over the road to the right and when they're all getting to and leaving work at the same time it gets pretty busy oh, watch your forks there bud watch your forks <laughs> why do you got them way up there This is a, a meat packing plant beside us here on the right. They uh, create quite the stink. I remember as a kid, it bothered me a lot more than it does now. Now I don't really, it doesn't really bother me, but whole oh, that plant stinks when they're making certain meats, I guess, or packaging it. It uh, stinks up the whole neighborhood, but this is St. Boniface Industrial Zone. I think it's the largest like dirty industrial zone in Winnipeg. This is where all the industry that uh, gives off that unwanted smell, they would be located in this area of the city. I think they call it dirty industry, right? I don't know if that's, uh, what do I know? But we're almost there. 85 mattresses. So there's gonna be 85 people that have a good mattress to sleep on now. I brought new ones out to Ontario and I took their old ones here, they're donating the old ones. I thought that was kind of nice. It's kind of a nice story to be a part of, right? That was a very short green light. Come on. It's 
Good to be back in 3006 again, though. I missed this truck. I always wonder if people actually live in these places here. I don't think so. I think they've been converted into, like, businesses. There's a whole bunch of washer and dryers outside that one. But I think someone still lives in that little one over there. I'm not sure. Right in the middle of an industrial zone. I mean, property tax must be cheap. <laughs> I would hope. It'd be hard to sell that. I don't know what this structure is off to my left here. It's been there my whole life as far as I can remember. So I used to go to school in the neighborhood here and I drive past this all the time. It's always there. It's like they just took the walls off the building but left the frame there. I wonder what they're gonna do with it. Just gonna leave it? I'm gonna wait for that guy because I'm a nice guy. I could have gone. I could have gone, Mr. Minivan. I chose to let you go first. I'm gonna be slow. I don't like rushing in the semi. No point. Just take my time. Give myself plenty of time to get to where I'm going and just get there when we get there, you know? Everyone can go around. I mean, I'm not gonna drive ridiculously, ridiculously slow, but I'm just talking for when I'm in the city. I'd rather be more careful than not. I mean, there's people everywhere. There's kids running around everywhere. Cars everywhere. I gotta turn left here. Stay green. Stay. You pedestrian, you stay too. Stay. Old St. Boniface. I just gotta go around the corner here. I've said it before, this is the, the French Quarter of the city. And where is this place? Is this it here? I think this is it here, yep. Gotta turn down. It feels kinda nice being a part of big donation like this. Uh, this is going to a center here for less fortunate. Like I was telling you, uh, not sure who exactly, but I think it was going for the homeless and uh, uh, low income families. So I know it's not my donation. It is uh, people in Ontario. I brought them new matches. They wanted to donate their old matches. They were only a year old. They were still in great shape. They didn't really need to be replaced in my own opinion, but they replaced them. And uh, so the, the old matches that are still good are going to be cleaned here and then uh, distributed to those who need them. And it feels kind of sort of heartwarming being a part of that, even though it's, it's not me specifically who's making the donation. I was a part of it. I brought it here. And uh, they seemed pretty excited to receive them. So they're, they got a whole crew here. Uh, they wanted to unload it all themselves. I asked if they wanted my help. And they said, no, they're good. They got a whole bunch of guys here, a bunch of volunteers. And uh, they said I could just go sit in my truck. I'm probably gonna go out there anyways and see if they need my help. I don't like feeling useless just sitting in here. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> I had to go around on a little bit of a tight street. Now I'm trying to go back down there and going back to the yard. I'm not sure what's next on the agenda for today, but that was fun. They actually got it unloaded there fast. They had a bunch of guys already in waiting. I called them yesterday to tell them when I'd be here, so they were already warmed up and stretched. Because all the mattresses were just on the floor, eh? You had to pull out one mattress at a time. And I think there was 85 mattresses in there. If we counted right. This is one of the busier roads. This is Archibald Street. One of the busier roads. I gotta. I need the whole road to make my right turn. So I gotta wait for traffic to clear in both directions. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna send it. There we go. No 
problem. Well, this building's new. I've never seen this building here. Maybe they just redid it. Huh, wonder what that is. I should have just kept going straight. Ah, oh, whatever, I can go this way too. Now I just gotta wait for this traffic. Not, a, not that long though, it's just a little bit of, just a few cars, just a few cars. Just talking out loud, thinking out loud. That's what I meant to say. Usually you do talk out loud. I mean, whenever I talk, it usually is out loud. What I meant to say is that I'm thinking out loud. There we go. There's that skeleton structure again. Oh, what's this? The factory. I wonder what they do there. 365 Technologies. I wonder what they do. Looks like some kind of sports shop. Now I gotta make a tight right. Because trucks are not allowed to go straight. Except for all the industry that's down that road. You have to have trucks go down there to pick up freight. <laughs> I've had to go down there before to pick up loads at those buildings down there. I don't know why it says no trucks allowed. All right, bud, I'm gonna let you go first. There you go, there you go. Just don't drag your trailer over me, okay? Thank you, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. There you go. So the rules in Manitoba are at stop signs. If you're at a four-way stop or a three-way like that, always stop. Uh, whoever arrives at the stop sign first has the right of way. If you both arrive at the exact same time, whoever's to the right has the right of way. Can you even see me? The sun goes down so fast. It's hard to get a, a day's worth of a video in here for you. Well, we got a few things done today. Getting colder again. It's minus 15 now, so it's not too cold, but two months ago I would have said it was freezing. Now it's like, meh, it's, it's okay. It's okay, I'd like it if it wouldn't get any colder, but we know it will. Cold weather's coming down from the north. It's gonna hit us in the next week. We'll go down to minus 25, minus 30s in the wind chill, and then it's gonna go down from there yet. January is going to be even colder if it's like every other January. Well, it's okay. It's what we do. We're going to keep trucking. Britt went to her mom's for the night, so it's just me and uh, me and the boys. Well, she took the little guy. She took the Frank. We collectively, they're both their names are Frankie. All right, you want to speed? Go ahead, buddy. That speeding ticket is all yours. All yours. Oh, man, he's just booking it, too. Oh, you're going to pass like four or five people at once. Oh boy, somebody's in a hurry to get home to the wife. I get it, bud, but... Speed limits. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm going home to the boys. I got Diesel and Chevy at home with me. The little guys went with Brett. And uh, we're going to have a guys night. Better not party too hard because I got to work in the morning. giant tables. Cool. Well, boys, Chevy's excited. Oh my, Chevy. I thought we were past this. I didn't film the Rockstar Welcome already. I thought you'd calm down. You guys are that excited for our guys night, eh? Guys night. Where's mom? Chevy. There's no mom at guys night. Guys, she's not a guy. Look at over here, Mom. She's not in here. Chevy, she's not gonna. She's not here. Where'd she go? Where'd you Where'd you put her? She went to Grandma's house, didn't she? Went to Grandma's house. She, she told me. You see, I'm a smart weasel. I know you things, right, Dad? Say I'm a good boy. You're a good boy, Jesus. Yes. Yes, I am. It's just us today. 
Me, you, and Chevy. What are we gonna do? I don't know, we can fish out the disco ball, man. Can you guys see Mom? I still can't find her. Chevy. Chevy. Chevy, sit. It's just us. Mom's not coming back till tomorrow. She's not coming back? Till tomorrow. She's coming back tomorrow. Oh! Uh. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. There's no rules, man. We can make our oh. own rules. Oh boy! Oh boy! Can we make snow angels? Well, can we? Can we eat cake? I like cake. I like cake too. Anyways. Not like we have a, a lot of time. It's already quarter to seven and my bedtime is eight o'clock. So we have a whole hour and 15 minutes to shower, make supper, do the dishes, get ready for tomorrow and go to bed. I don't even know if it's enough time for that. <laughs>